Hello and welcome back to JBCTR, where today you join me at the back of Caterham HQ, where today we're collecting a 270R for the weekend. Now, I'll start today's video talking about the history of Caterham because that kind of leads me on to why I like the brand and why this whole video came about. So back in 1957, a man called Colin Chapman put together what he thought was an awesome car. It was built to be fit for purpose. So that was the Series 1 Caterham, which looked pretty much like this. Um, and since then, Caterham have acquired the rights to that and uh, they're still making pretty much the same car today and that is why I like the brand. Now the reason why I like the brand is because it's a bit of an anomaly in the modern the modern world. So if you look at all the other manufacturers they always try and refresh their models every sort of seven to eight years and if you take the 370Z for example that's been other than a midlife facelift in production for 11 years and all the recent reviews and what people think of the car is that really they just need to release a new one but somehow Caterham have just completely got out of that rat race of just constantly trying to upgrade because the car that they produced back in well the 50s is still great today um, so yeah that's the reason why I've come to Caterham to try out one of these beasts and uh, let's see how it goes Now, I think that's probably enough waffling. I think we should kind of get to know this car. So what I'm gonna do, go for a drive and then we'll stop and we'll talk more about the specifics of this actual car in a moment. Right then, so now I've had a blast and fueled up the car and myself, I thought I'd stop and talk to you about what this is. Um, so as you can see, it is a 270R, which is the second from slowest Caterham cell, although it's not slow at all, if I'm honest. Um, the paint is acid green, which I think looks really nice and apparently looks very nice at like twilighty time. So uh, I look forward to seeing that tonight. Um, in terms of the engine, there is a 1.6 litre Ford Sigma engine in it, which is um, not very exciting in the Fiestas and Focuses that it was previously used for, um, but now it produces 135 horsepower after a little bit of catering magic. And um, I think it sounds really nice. And when the exhaust and stuff is all fully warm, you get a few little pops and burbles and stuff, which is, and it's, yeah, kind of refreshing to hear something that sounds so natural in a world of cars that are you know computery computery computer programmed to produce all this exhaust noise which is a bit fake so um yeah initial impressions are looking good now in terms of options on this particular car um well the most obvious is the fact that they've opted for the r pack uh, and that means you get a carbon fiber dash these lovely orca alloys and generally it makes the car just look a bit more racy and a bit more nice in my opinion um, the coolest thing, I think, and this is an optional extra on top of the R-Pack, are these sort of carbon fibre shell bucket seats. Um, when the light hits the carbon fibre, it just looks absolutely lovely. And in terms of holding you, they're a little bit wider than the normal Caterham seats, which means if you have a larger frame, should we say, these are likely to hold you a little bit better. Um, my only slight complaint that I've found so far is, well, they're not very breathable. So um, on a hot day like today, expect a bit of a sweaty back but otherwise I think they look incredible and yeah they're really nice to sit in. Now specs and stuff are all very cool but I'm, I know that you're itching to understand what it's like to actually drive one of these 
Now, despite this being the slowest one, as I mentioned previously, it's bloody brilliant. So uh, let's go for a drive.
subject of a very raw driving experience. I mean, I know that online reviewers and all of that bang on about heel and towing and heel and towing, um, but the reality is in nearly all modern cars, you just don't need it. Yeah, sure, it makes the exhaust sounds cool, which is mainly the reason why I've learned to do it. But in this car, rev matching is a necessity. I mean, heel and towing would also be a necessity if you really, really want to go fast and make the most of this, but at a minimum, you need to learn how to rev match in one of these, because otherwise it just, actually if you try it, I mean, it's just, I mean, you can do it without rev matching, but ultimately, the rev match is just supreme. That's where you want to be. That is how you drive this car fast. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and this weekend is no different. So we're coming to the end of my time with the Caterham 270R, um, and it's been quite emotional, really. Um, it's a car that I've always wanted to drive, be involved with, and I must admit it did not disappoint. If you look at this car on paper, yeah, there's got no boot, the roof's a bit flimsy, and there's no cup holders on the inside, but for some weird reason, it just doesn't seem to matter. It's been accepted into the modern world like any other car really and people stop and admire it and I think that is the charm of this thing um, and not only that it's absolutely fantastic to drive so yeah all in all great car so if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me and other car content then feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one I, I,